Hey, welcome back, knife nerds. Everyday carry people. It's the Big Knucker here, and we have got ourselves a first impression video of something I had ordered that just came in today, and I went and picked it up in the bustling city of Metropolis at my friends over there, Alberta Firearms. Not only that, we've got a bunch of stuff here. We're going to do uh, so a little sneak peek at a few things. we got a big sale coming up next Friday. I'm going to say probably, uh, I, I'm going to say probably six o'clock my time to start or maybe seven, who knows. My wife uh, has to work that night, so it's perfect. So I might even just do it seven o'clock, start the knife sale live seven o'clock and you guys will get yourself some pretty awesome things, including a bunch of new inbox things that are so nice. All right, but let's, uh, let's go here. I kind of tease you a little bit. Now, those of you who are, are very astute Spyderco people, you'll know what's inside this here. By just the overall size of it, uh, this has not been opened, uh, not been opened by me. Uh, it still, as a matter of fact, has got the shipping plastic on it. So let's uh, get that out. And uh, we'll open it up here with another Spyderco. <laughs> another big, huge beast. There, let me, let me pull this out here. And a lot of people may say, what the hell is this guy thinking about? Well, I'm thinking about something that is not necessarily going to be out with me in the bush, but it is going to be something that I think is just gorgeous and as more of an object than a tool. Look at that. That is the Genzo Spider Co. Oh, Genzo Design Spider Co. Hawk. Oh my goodness, I think this is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, let's just see here. High carbon 5160 blade on this. This is a beautiful pouch, by the way, folks. Uh, and I want to call, I can't, you know what? I am absolutely blown away by this. Of course, I got a little Spyderco sticker inside that says uh, ED, the edge is a ghost. Oh, that's nice. And of course, here a little bit of a, the hatchet hawk. Oh my goodness. I'm actually blown away by what this is called. This happens to be a German axe maker, uh, Genzo, who uh, made a little deal with Spyderco and said, hey man, uh, we'll build you an axe, 5160, including a really gorgeous sheath here. Uh, let's pull that off and let's just see. I heard that this is razor sharp. Oh, and you know what? That uh, doesn't disappoint. This is like shaving sharp. And uh, oh, she's got a little bit of a burr on it. But 5160 high carbon steel uh, polypropylene handle with an aluminum core in it. Of course, it's got the Spyderco hole in it. Uh, now, the big knock on this was the handle was really thin and it kind of spun in your hand, what some people said. It seems like it's still fairly comfortable. It is a little bit thin, but uh, I'm okay with that because this is not going to stay just a straight stock uh, Genzo Hatched Hawk. I am going to um, put get a friend or learn how to do a leather wrapped handle, a braided leather wrapped handle on this. That's what it's going to be for me. Now you've got yourself a flat kind of hammerhead uh you've got a little bit of kind of a, a false edge along the bottom looks like it's kind of a little bit of a bearded design here a bearded axe design that's kind of shaved off with a false edge and this edge here uh, uh, it just seems like the top is sharper than the bottom uh, so there is a little bit of a difference here so i will sharpen this up just a smidge more and this was originally going to be a hatchet I was going to use for some a design that I had for uh, doing some uh, spoons, some spoon carving. So this is just going to be a, let's see here, this pops in there like that, I do believe. Uh, and here, let's just see here. I think that pops in there like that. There we go. And then that just... And I heard that it's tight at first. <laughs> the axe, the axe, guys. Ugh. Oh my goodness, she's not. There we go. And there's my handle. And I think that's gorgeous. This is a really nice thick leather uh, sheath. 
that can either be belt carried or it looks like it's got a couple of eyelets here to carry over your shoulder and then of course she's ready to rock so that's what we've got is our first impressions and I am blown away I love this so let's get that off the table and let's get something else on here one of the things that's going to be going up for sale in my box of stuff here this right here okay, I'm going to pull that off because uh, let's get that off because that is not going to be oh my goodness all right here we have a Boker Turpitz. Um, and this Boker Turpitz knife is uh, made from actual metal from the US at uh, the USS. Uh, the Turpitz, which is the Bismarck's sister battleship. I do believe it was sunk in 1944. And um, this one happens to be made from high alloy steel from the Turpitz in a Damascus pattern, spe specially um, done by Boker. Uh, now, this is also, this one here is a special edition that is layered in 24 karat gold. Uh, 24 karat gold in the clip, in the, you know, it is a deep carry clip that's reversible top up, tip up, top down. Um, it, it's the thumb stud, the blade, uh, all the screws are all in 24 karat gold including the pivot here too as well so this is an absolutely gorgeous knife in this little kind of carrying case here uh it comes with uh the boker uh, all the uh it comes with the box it also comes with all the um i don't want to say it's not propaganda but just all the 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 not augmentation oh my goodness i can't believe what the word I'm looking for but it comes with all its papers anyway so this I look it on the Boker website and it looks like the MSRP on this is around fifteen hundred and ninety five dollars American this is going to be considerably less uh, coming up on Friday I will probably put it on a few other websites during the week to see if we can get some action on it, just to help out a friend who wants to kind of move some of this stuff but this thing is gorgeous and can be paid for with a credit card if you so desire so 14 or 24 karat gold uh metal from the uss the uss turpits it'll keep on saying um the bismarck sister ship the turpits uh in green uh, the handle here is actually walnut uh the damascus is actually hand forged inside their own sharp shop in uh, solingen germany so oh my goodness you are going to be a lucky guy whoever picks that up so we have got a, another one here another Damascus knife but this one here is a little bit different uh, this one here happens to be a Boker too as well and this Boker here is um, actually uh, canvas micarta with Damascus blade and this is actually from the Sh Sherman tanks this one happens to be an M4 Sherbus Sherman Damasteel um, made in Solingen, made in Germany too as well. Hand forged, laddered pattern to Damascus uh, with a, a Bicarda scale. And I was looking online and I do believe this is somewhere around 562 American retail. But like I said, going to be quite a bit less here. Uh, I'm going to try to maybe do a little bit more kind of first impression or do some um, videos on this throughout the week. But this one's for sale next Friday, okay? We've also got a new in box shaman. If you want to save yourself some bucks, we've got a shaman that is going to be a shaman with the. Uh, oh, look at that! It's going to be a shaman with the G10, and it's also going coming with. Uh, let's just see here, Spartaco S30V. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous knife. I have a shaman, and I absolutely love it. So that one's coming up for sale too. Brand spanking new shaman. Can be paid for with credit card too as well. Save yourself some money. And then we've got some uh, hard to, really, really hard to find. They came out like a really, like a huge, huge, uh, when they first came out, people were scrambling to get these. You couldn't really find them too much. 
Uh, we have got some Demco Sharkfoot uh, knives. Uh, I, I, I are not just Sharkfoot, but uh, with this Shark Lock OS 10 Gravery handles. Oh man, these things are awesome. I absolutely love this lock. That's the first time this one's been flipped. And I would flip it a little bit with my thumb here, but my thumb is really, really sore. Ugh, just for you guys, I had to flip that. But this is such a toy, this thing here. So I'm going to have, there is uh, some shark foot ones here. There's going to be some clip point ones. There's going to be some orange one and some black ones. And they are absolutely new in box, have not cut a thing. Um, so those are going to be up for sale this Friday too as well. I have four of them. So you know what? Don't uh, sleep on these because these are going to be gone very, very quickly. Uh, so there we go. Now I've also got some pre-owned things too as well that that's Kevin. Not just these kind of new in box things. I've got some really, really good knives that are going to be anywhere from around $65 and up. So uh, Friday. Uh, seven o'clock when the sale starts don't forget we're gonna probably do first uh, email and gets uh, first right of refusal uh, all prices will be in Canadian um, and they'll be uh, in Canadian uh, no tax and shipping plus shipping so we'll just let that know so please please hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of a sneak peek and some of these interesting knives please please stay safe out there keep your stick on the ice the shine is that up this is the big conductor saying adios